Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one. We do daily content on this channel where we talk about different homebrew, how to install different plugins, different emulators and things like that. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at the custom themes manager for the PS Vita and this is a great application that allows us to download all sorts of custom themes directly from the internet onto our Vita without connecting to the PC or anything like that. So it's a great app and I highly recommend all you guys installing this because you get all sorts of uh, different themes. There's about a little over 900 themes that is insane I have one right now installed and I forgot what this one was called but it has great wallpaper and it has uh, pretty cool music to it I'm not sure if this is copyright but I'll do a little demo here and as I go through the different pages we have different wallpapers which is nice and I liked it a lot because it's very simple very minimalistic and it does have a nice startup wallpaper as well as you can see it's pretty cool and before we begin the installation process I'd like to show you the app so you can get a good feel of what we got going on here in order for this app to work you must be running on custom firmware and I'm currently on 3.73 with H on core 2 and it's working just fine. If you're interested in installing this app and hacking your Vita, I do have a very easy simple tutorial on how to hack your Vita. That link will be in the description down below. You also must have your Wi-Fi internet connection enabled and obviously that's the only way for you to download these themes. And what's great about this app is that it will download it, unzip all the files, and install it directly onto your Vita, and that's great. And as you can see, we have a very nice, easy menu to understand. Very clean, very simple. And it's a great interface. And I'll go through these different options here later on in this video. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the different themes here in this uh, section. And at first, it will show you all the latest and greatest themes on the first page. And on the bottom, you can see 929 custom themes available. And this is page 1 of 55. That is crazy. And you can go through different pages by pressing the L and R. I don't think you can swipe yet here. But you can select by touching the screen or going through your D-pad. The analogs do not work though. Now let's go through the next page. And the next page here, you can see there's all sorts of different characters, games, shows, movies. It is insane the different options that we have. And what's great about this is that not only can you download these, but you can see all the different information about this app. So or I'm sorry, not the app, but the theme. Let's go into this Tokyo Ghoul. And before you install it, it will give you all this different information, starting by the created by Polestar, the version, how many downloads, the validation score. And the validation score is very important, guys. This uh, lets us users tell everyone else if this theme is working or not. So as you can see, it's at 55.8%. That's pretty bad. Uh, we have 69 valids and 17 warnings so as a user that's great you can always report each theme to see if it's working or not if you've had any errors or any warnings it's it's awesome and so we have a description here and then on the bottom we have the test results and this the test results is basically telling you what's going to change on your vita so we're going to have the different icons, preview images, backgrounds, lock screens. They all work well. So that is basically it. And then we have our available commands. And it tells us we can install this by pressing X. And it's going to connect to the internet. It's going to go grab that theme, downloading custom theme zip. And these themes go about like less than 
five megabytes. They're not too large. And there we go, we got another page here. A thumbnail file, home screen preview file, lock screen preview file, and path. So here's where we'll see that theme in that folder. And you can press either start to write the custom theme onto your database, or you can press circle to cancel and delete the extracted files. And I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Custom theme installed successfully, perfect. And now we can go back, go into this section here. And you can always go to that part of the app or go to your settings, go to theme, and then everything's just gonna be here. So let's select this one, go home. And there we go, we got different wallpapers. Pretty cool. I haven't uh, finished the show yet. Me and my wife started it, but I've been so busy that we haven't seen it in months. And here's the music playing. All right, so let's begin the installation process. We're going to go to our Vita shell. Let's start that baby up. Next, we're going to go to our start button. And we want to make sure that our select button is enabled to USB. And make sure your USB device is path to whichever one you need. Uh, right now, I do have a SD2 Vita installed, so that's where all of my files are going to go. And that's what's going to pop up when we connect it to our PC. Let's go back, press select, and now we can connect our Vita to our PC. Head on over to the first link in the description down below, and that'll take you to VitaDB. And here is the Custom Themes Manager version 4.0. And the author is Red Squirrel. Thank you so much. And the size of this VPK is 3 megabytes, 2.95 approximately. And let's click on the Download VPK link down here. Here is the CT Manager VPK. And once you plug in your PS Vita, your drive should pop up right away. And all we have to do is pretty much drag this into the root of our USB drive here of our Vita. And that's basically it. But for me, I like to drop all of my VPKs in this folder called VPK. That way I can find all of my files easily and it's more organized. Let's head on back to our Vita and finalize the installation. Okay, now we are back on our Vita and we want to find that VPK and mine is going to be in the UXO folder. And I'm going to go find my VPK folder here. And there is the ctmanager.vpk. So all we have to do is press X or for me it's going to be O because this is a Japanese Vita. Do you want to install this package? Say yes. And it's going to start installing the app. It says this package requests extended permissions. It will have access to your personal information. If you did not obtain it from a trusted source, please proceed at your own caution. Would you like to continue the install? Say yes. And it's at 86%. It's pretty quick on installing this app. It doesn't take too long. And there we go. Once it's done, you can go back home. And you will now see the new custom themes manager app there. Let's begin. Let's start the app. All right, so here is our main menu for the custom themes manager version 4.0. And let's go through this real quick. Our first option is apply and install theme. This is where we're going to find all of our downloaded themes. Here is where you can download all of the different custom themes over 900, which is crazy. And our next option is install a custom theme from the local folder, meaning if you downloaded a theme off the internet via PC and then you install it through Vita Shell, things like that, you can find it through here. Next one is an install a custom theme. So if you downloaded one and you're not really digging it and you want to get rid of it, you can go here to recycle all of the different themes you don't like. Here is where we can dump an official theme to a local folder. And here is where we can check the online repository for a new version. So if you already have 
a theme installed and you're curious to see if there's a new version, you can always go here and check it out. And here's where we can set our default partition, meaning that you can have the specific path for all these themes to be downloaded and installed. And our last option is cache and DB backups management. So that is about it, guys. All right, finally, let's go through the custom themes and talk about that a little bit. Okay, so here we are in the free repository section. And I wanted to go through the different commands in this uh, part of the app and you can press square to see all the different commands and the navigation we have press RL or slide on front touchscreen to change page and we can press the LR together to skip a specific page and we can press up down left right or the front touchscreen to change a selection and we can use our left analog stick to quickly scroll through the list only in the list view mode. And our auctions here, auc actions, auctions, actions, press cross or the front touchscreen to view more details about the selected themes. Press select to change view modes. Press start to search for a keyword in custom theme title, author, or description, which is nice. So let's check that out. Let's go back here. Oops, I went way back. I'm really confused because when I'm using this app, uh, the circle no longer becomes X and it gets swapped out. So this automatically swaps these out for me because this is a Japanese Vita and the X for me is the O and the O is the X. So the back button is the X for the most part. Anyways, uh, let's press start. And we can search a keyword here. Uh, let's do let's do my hero. Let's see if there's a my hero academia theme. Oh boy, there it is. And press square to show commands list. Can we press select to change view? No, we can't. Man, so we can't really see it. All right, let's let's press start or X. I'm sorry. And then it'll start downloading. So it's connecting. Download a custom theme zip file. Please wait. Wow, this is pretty large. 5.29 megabytes. Okay. Let's press start to write that. Perfect. And we can change the view by pressing select here. Let's do mini grid. Oh, that's even better. I don't like the really. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's even better. I didn't like the whole six per page because that's way too many pages to go through. Uh, this is a lot better, but you're going to have to squint or get really close to your Vita in order to see some of these. Uh, and let's press select again and go through list. Yeah, that's not as satisfying. That's kind of lame. Let's go back to grid. The one of six is better. That way you can see what's going on. The little mini grid is too much to bear. So that is basically it, guys. I want to go check out. Okay, so I want to go check out that theme I installed. There's my hero. Select. Oh, it's going to be too much for me. Uh, I'm too. I'm too simple. I'm too much of a square to have this one. Yeah, no, this is not going to work out for me. It's great for the big My Hero fans, but I, I can barely even see the damn app. So, yeah, this has got to go. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one. Any questions, as always, comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to like this video because it really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.